Now you know you know you know you know by now that Corvo cannot resist the sight of a swarm of rats in proximity to not yet murdered humans. There's only one out possibility. And yet they run straight for their death. Yeah, that they kind of brought this one on themselves. It's a pity I didn't have any grenades yet, because I could have wiped those dudes out at once. Could have wiped everything out. Imagine you and your. Imagine being in their position. You know, you're being swarmed by rats. They're like tearing the flesh from your legs, and then crossbow bolts start raining from the sky. Oh, and I just. I think I chopped that dude's head off. You think it might be help, but no. And, yeah, and they're... You can chop guys into... Ah! I think that's just... Is that, that's just like a pelvis and legs, I think. Yeah, the severed body parts, you can pick those up. And, like, throw them. You can... You can I mean, that's actually a valid tactic, distract enemies with them. You throw in, like, the, you know, holy shit, a dead body, and then he comes out to look, and... There's no, there's no ability to simply pick up the pieces and wield them as weapons, though, which would be, which is, which would be nice. Nope. Oh, the Punisher's been here. <laughs> A lot of copper wire. Ooh, an explosive bottle. Oh, you can hear you can hear the sounds of rat teeth ripping through flesh. Mm. Just now we're in the story. The blitzer still is not far off, but there's quite a few guys between us, and there's mo there's two levels to that area out there. Or, actually, kind of three, because there's the main level, there's, like, the area beneath it. This is just the recipe for the bootleg elixir. And then there's all those pipes and such above it, pipes and chains above it. You can climb over them most of, for most of the way. Oh, this is interesting. Remember, they mentioned that they take young boys to be overseers. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. I thought it was all children. Is it just boys? I think it's just boys, I think. I mean, you never encounter any female overseers. Brimsley job, hitting the dumb waiter all night. Yeah, so he goes from room to room, kids sleeping, an overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky plonky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. Yeah, that plinky plonky music. That will come up again. <laughs> this is this is just this is basically just an ad for old Dunwall whiskey and we haven't signed any promotional deal with them, so not like Chevis Royal. N not Regal. like Chevis Regal. <laughs> okay, now you open that with that um the crank, and then you, you zip under with your blink power. Or you could use your, your time slow as well, but blink doesn't permanently use mana. There's quite a trove of stuff in here. Now I've got a grenade. Which are pretty straightforward as... I mean, as grenades go. Um, and now I get, I'm, I'm way up here. And I died a time or two in here as well. Meanwhile, they're exchanging dirty limericks up above. 
So, so, some, some, some art forms transcend culture. It's supposed to be vaguely British. It's, I think that's pretty British. Well, you'd think with a name like Limerick. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, all right. The, the, the weak one wanders off from the herd. And so, the struggle is soon over. They've got some very nice bowler hats, I have to say. Very dapper. I'll move over here. Quite a lot of guys in there. That wasn't nice. nice. Alright. There's quite a few guys up there still. So. Oh! I didn't die there! Nope. I didn't die and reload. Shut up. <laughs> those chain you can climb those chains. You can go up quite a ways with them too. Get a nice bird's eye view of the place. And from here blink over onto this pipe. Now I'm high up. Now you can do you can do a drop kill from here. Although with a bunch of guys around you're probably gonna be seen. I'll move over here. Or if they don't see you, the body. Hey, blow off, chopper. That's a recurring insult in this game, chopper. I I'm, I kinda wonder if that's like some obscure, like real world British underworld slang or something. Well the other day, um, Jackson Tyler on Twitter called me a numpty. Who's Jackson Tyler? He's Callum and Scott's friend. Oh, uh, what did you do to call to? Oh, that guy went over the railing. What did you do to get the name Numpty? What did he? Uh, I assume that's a bad thing. Something that. Oh, uh, it's somebody who says something. Oh. To to, oh, check that out. I love the, the, the oh. stuff. How much you can break stuff in this and. Nice. Oh. Yeah, right through the shoulder. Oh. Yeah, that's. That's brutal. No, a uh, numpty is somebody who displays their er their in not arrogance, ignorance by speaking. Okay. And I think I asked him something, like forgetting that he was in England. Okay. Nick, hold on a second. Then, I'm, I'm going to pause you a second just so you can so the, the other video catches up. Okay. 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 So you said something about England, and he... He called me a numpty, because I forgot he was in England. And then I was like, I don't know what a numpty is, so I googled it, and I was like, oh... It's doubly embarrassing. That's pretty slick. Oh, there he goes! Dead in a pool of whiskey. Not the worst way to go out, I suppose. Oh, I hear a that hear that noise in the distance. Yeah. Sound the sound of a that's the sound of a bone charm. Oh. Or a rune. Yeah, they make these these weird noises as you get closer. They're, they get quite loud up close, but from even from a distance they. And here is Slackjaw's surprisingly nice office. Just simple, pretty simple. Bootleg, still instructions. I believe you can use this if you haven't tainted it yet. Should I? Dare I? Oh, you're going to. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I believe if you haven't tainted it yet, I assume you can take those empty vials over there and fill it up to uh, according to those instructions. Oh. I'm guessing. Now this um, this book over here, it's basically it's got the list of a bunch of uh, customers, you know, for their still. And among other things, it listed just like it'll say, you know, such and such family, five doses or whatever. So, I'm kill, I'm killing a lot of innocent people here. 
Oh, and the Golden Cat. We'll be seeing that place soon enough. All right. Well, we, our main task here is done. But there's still that, that bone charm calling our name. There is a strong dream made here. I tried it once. It's still the river crusts, but I tasted it. The brothels spring up around the distillery. They are inseparable. The fingers of the city. So, yeah. Whoever, whoever, whoever this heart used to be was not a fan of old Dunwall whiskey, apparently. I tried it once. It's still the river crust, but I tasted it. She only drinks delicious Chivas Regal. Someday that endorsement is going to come, Nick. <laughs> you can read all about it at Chivas.com. <laughs> all right, I got it. Bone charm. Welcoming host. You can possess white rats for longer. Not enormously useful, but nothing else to equip at the moment, so. The blink power is also handy if you're high up and you want to get down without hurting yourself, but you don't want to carefully climb down every bit. Because, like, movement downward with blink doesn't count as, like, doesn't add momentum to, as if it were a fall. So it's safe. That guy's just propped up against the railing there. There's another incendiary. Oh, someone's talking. Oh, and more rats have shown up. Another incendiary bolt. Notice there's a tripwire. Hmm. And I think to myself, another rat swarm. Basically, the rats, the rats can't touch, as long as you're on top of something that's, you know, at least a foot or two up, the rats won't get you. And if they're, like, swarming beneath you, you can, like, strike at them with your melee weapon and, like, take them out and you'll be safe. Now I'm trying to make some, and see those ripple, those ripples in my vision, those are, that's like the, the radius of the sound. And I'm trying to just lure these rats. Again, you sort of Pied Piper-like. If the Pied Piper rats fed the children to the rats or something. Uh-oh. Oh! What does that... Those, those letters just appeared on the screen for no reason! It's like the game needs to constantly remind you. Yeah. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're on to me. Now, just lure them back. And the rats are on to them. Oh, they're, they're gnawing at me. There we go. You're gonna... That's a weird thing to say to a rat. Maybe this is like a, I don't know, maybe this is like a JRPG uni universe, and when you kill rats, they just leave gold. And more food for the rats. The rats that are spreading the plague, and so I probably shouldn't be helping them thrive and breed like this, but... Yeah. Careful, there might be more. More guys might have shown up. But, no. Now, as you can see, when you sprint, it makes a lot of noise. At least until you get the uh, appropriate upgrade. Alright, now it's back to Granny Rags to get our reward. Excellent. You know, my, you know, my grandma would just... would pay me to do like yard work and stuff like that she never made me she never made me commit murder mm. yeah I only ever murdered people for my mom only immediate family no she just paid well oh okay 
I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. All right. Now, Nick. Yes. Since, <coughs> since this, is the, this is the first time I've showed this to you, because this is not in any way a second take being done because of technical problems wrecking the first one, you'll be genuinely surprised when I tell you that Granny Rags is voiced by none other than Academy Award-winning actress Susan Sarandon. Really? It, of, uh, she, most famously uh, for uh, Dead Man Walking. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how they got... Well, one of the things about this game, they've got a lot of... A lot of people who don't, whose careers are not mostly voiceovers or video games are in this. Which is kind of... So it's kind of... There's a lot of vo there's really not a lot of familiar familiar voice like familiar video game actor voices in this, but there is some you might recognize, and I don't know how they got Sarandon involved. That's pretty. Yeah. And fortunately, it's not like it's not like Elder Scrolls Oblivion where they blew 90% of the voice budget on Patrick Stewart, and then the entire realm the rest of the entire realm was voiced by like three people. Well, maybe it's like, uh, Fable 3, which had a ton. Oop. Door to Holger's...